Hey, welcome inside Zippity's Garage. In today's episode, we're taking another road trip. We're headed up to Hamilton Tap and Grill for the Corvette Takeover. So stick around. Hey, welcome inside Zippity's Garage. Thanks for pushing that play button. Allow me to introduce myself if you're new here. My name is Jeff Zippity Duda, and this YouTube channel is dedicated to the fun and games associated with being an automotive enthusiast. And this video today kind of speaks to that because we go to two different car events on a Saturday morning and Saturday afternoon. So we've already returned back from it and uh, was able to take the Z06 out um, and enjoy a nice Saturday morning, early morning, and then a nice connection with some Corvette friends up at the Corvette Takeover up in Hamilton. So let me explain what we did today. Uh, this morning, got up early and went over to the Autumn in Morristown Car Show. So this is a downtown setting, um, southern New Jersey in Morristown, where they did the typical fall festival where they had vendors set up but they also have a car show set up on half of the street as well. So myself and a couple friends from the original Garden State Corvette Club went over and helped out the folks from High Octane South Jersey and we parked some cars. So I didn't do any video coverage from that event, but what I did do is take a lot of photographs and at the tail end of this video, I'm gonna run a slideshow showing you some of the cars that came out this morning at the Autumn in Morristown show. There was a all original 289 Cobra there, well worth over a million dollars. Parked right next to him was a McLaren Senna. Again, another million dollar car. And again, really, really cool. They had some old school stuff that showed up, some antiques, and like I said, right up to a brand new C8 Corvettes. So a little bit of everything in between. There was American cars, Japanese cars, European cars, and even a couple British cars as well. So, um, so stick around to the end of the video. We'll let that roll, put some music underneath of it, and do a little slideshow of some of the still photos. And then after that was finished up with, got the cars parked, and I'd say around at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, took a ride up to Hamilton, New Jersey, to the Hamilton Tap and Grill, where I met up with Scott from 512 Garage, Dave from Yellow Vet 04, and Matt from Maddie's Garage, and kind of a little YouTube type event, but Scott and Dave have been doing this event now. I think they said this is the sixth event that they've done, and we returned over to the Hamilton Tap and Grill for the fall Corvette takeover. And if you were there in the spring, my gosh, you knew how crazy and crowded it was. Well, the forecast today was a little bit off, and plus we only did a two weeks notice on this event. So uh, there was about 60 Corvettes that showed up. And I tell you, if six Corvettes showed up, we would have had fun. But with 60, we had a lot of fun. So we got some captured, some video walking around the parking lot, looking at some of the cars that showed up today. Very low key, best way to describe it, it's a cars and coffee for Corvette owners. Uh, no DJs, no trophies, no BS just come out and have some fun and enjoy each other's company. And I'm told that we're already gonna start talking about doing one again for the spring, and uh, spring of 22. And if you were there in the spring of 21, you realized that that um, overflow parking lot was a pile of dirt. Well, let me tell you, that pile of dirt now is an Amazon building. So they put that building up in five months and uh, looks like there's still some overflow parking there if we need it for next time. So uh, stick around to Dave's channel and the 512 Garage, and as well as here, we'll be sure to update you on some upcoming Corvette events for the spring. But the show season's not over here in the uh, fall of 2021 in Southern New Jersey. Uh, two big events coming up next weekend. My local Corvette club, the original Garden State Corvette Club, is hosting a show in Smithville, New Jersey, just outside of Atlantic City on Sunday the 17th. I'll put the flyer down here below. It's a little bit too late to pre-register for the show, but come on out. It's $25 the day of the show. We've got a bunch of classes, a bunch of trophies, uh, and proceeds do go to charity. So if uh, you're in the area, please consider uh, checking that out. And then later in the month, uh, actually on Halloween, October 31st, in the morning at 9 a.m. at the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, 
The local radio station here, 93.3 WMMR and the Preston and Steve Morning Show, they do an event called the Camp Out for Hunger. And that is a week-long food drive, and it is the country's largest food drive, and it benefits Phil Abundance. And Phil Abundance in Philadelphia here also helps support area local food banks down in Atlantic City, southern New Jersey, Delaware. So it's just not for Philadelphia. But over the years, car clubs would show up at, on a Tuesday night, on a Wednesday night, and donate food for the Camp Out for Hunger. Well, it got a little bit too big to manage. So now with the local Porsche club, local Jeep clubs, there's Mopar groups, they decided to do a car show on the Sunday before the Camp Out starts. So the Camp Out starts on Monday, November 1st. So the Sunday before, which is Sunday, October 31st, they do a car show where all the area car clubs from the greater Philadelphia market, Delaware Valley, show up with their donations. So show up with your vehicles filled with non-perishable food. Cash donations are also accepted. Quite frankly, cash works well because Phil Abundance, the food bank, can purchase more food than you can if you were to pay full retail. So um, cash donations are great, but last year, the local Corvette area, you know, whether it was Living the Dream, the Philadelphia Area Corvette Club, my local club, and a bunch of other um, clubs that are based online, had uh, probably about 50 or 60 Corvettes show up at the Wells Fargo Center. So hopefully this year we'll be able to do a little bit more. I'll put a link, uh, the flyer down below so you can check out more information. And there is a Facebook group as well. And I think it's fillatrunk.org or fillatrunk.com. I'll put the website below as well. Um, so that's on October 31st, and that's for any maker model vehicle that you have, but um, obviously promoting the stuff for the Corvettes. So without any further ado, let's head over to Hamilton Tap and Grill, and next time you see me, we'll be walking through the parking lot. Thanks. All right, hello folks. Welcome inside Zippity's Garage. Can't come to a YouTube event without having some YouTube coverage. So uh, Jeff Duda from Zippity's Garage, and we are out here today at the Hamilton Tap and Grill in Hamilton, New Jersey at a kind of a, we we're calling it the Corvette Takeover, but it, basically it's a cars and coffee for Corvettes only. And this event was started by Dave and Scott. So Dave from Yellow Vet 04 and then Scott from, see if he's got it on here, a little blacked out, but it's 512 Garage in his beautiful black Grand Sport. And then our friend Maddie from Matt's gar Maddie's Garage. You can see his YouTube channel here as well. Uh, and he's got a C6 really done up nicely, as well as a C5. And you can see we've got all four of our cars parked along front here outside of the Hamilton Tap and Grill. A uh, little bit overcast. There has a little bit of, uh, there has been a couple sprinkles, but nothing really to keep uh, the hardcore fans away. And the last time we did this back in the spring, it's about five months ago, and this is, I think, the third time we're doing it here. We had overflow parking. That overflow parking last time, five months ago, was nothing but a dirt. It was used to be a strip mall. The strip mall was closed. The strip mall was sold to Amazon. Amazon came in and leveled the strip mall, and it was nothing but a dirt parking lot, dirt, dirt lot. Well, five months later, <laughs> they have this set up this building was put up in five months and it is massive so package pickup and return but it looks like a big amazon distribution center but let's take a look maybe uh for the spring takeover this would be great overflow parking so you know not getting ahead of ourselves here for the takeover for the spring of 2022 but we may be coming back to the hamilton tap and grill food's great just had lunch with dave and scott so let's take a look at some of the cars that are out here. So we started the event later in the day, around one o'clock, just because the bank, uh, which is down there at the end of the parking lot, closes and uh, we can use their parking lot after one. So a couple cars are heading out, but cars are still rolling in as well. This looks like a fixed roof coupe, not sure of the year. And I'm gonna say it's, uh, it's not Speedway White. What's the, the other white in the C5 era? There's Chet from uh, Corvette Owners Association on Facebook. And these cars were all out here quite early. Um, got a white C8 with a black top. 
Really nice looking combination with the natural interior and red seat belts. A couple different colors going on there with the uh, the carbon flash or black nacelles and the top on this thing. And then you can see we've got Corvettes all along this row. Center area is filled with Corvettes. We knew the uh, weather forecast was going to keep some folks away today, uh, and it certainly has. But still, a nice group of people all hanging out. Just you, you know, just the camaraderie of the Corvette in general, and a great time just spending time with each other. So C8 came down from New York State. Got another white convertible with the carbon flash nacelles, red interior. We've got other guys that came down from New York. We got uh, 03 Z06 convertible. We did have, I think every generation here except a C1. Our C2 mid-year was parked over here. He just headed out not too long ago. But nice collection of cars. You know, and you can see the, the 427 anniversary convertible. And you can really, my goodness, in this overcast day, you can really, that ceramic matrix really looks like it's a blue car. Uh, when it's parked next to this white and with that gray top, my goodness, this really looks like it's got a blue tint to it. That's what's wild about that ceramic matrix. It'll just change colors on you like that. Nice representation. C6 with a chin spoiler on it. How are you guys? Good, how are you, sir? Excellent, thank you. So, cammed up C6 driving through. Sounds really nice. Bye. That sounds nice. A couple of gray C7s. And then we've got C7 with the heritage package on it with the red interior. Nice looking car. And then swing back over here. Most of the restaurant folks that are here eating for the restaurant, because the restaurant is open, uh, they did park out here further away from the restaurant, allowing the Corvettes all to kind of stay together. And with the smaller turnout, a little bit easier this time around than if you were here in the spring. We had over 200 cars here, and we were double and triple parked. <laughs> the manager from the hotel, from the uh, bank was having a having a slight heart attack. And then there's actually a hotel on the other side of the tap room. We overtook the hotel parking lot as well. Uh, so the hotel manager came over and was giving us a little bit of grief. But uh, all in all, it was a fun day. And uh, just like this one is as well. Another fun day out here. Just enjoying each other's time. All right, excellent. Go Steelers. Look, it's going to be a rough year this year, but we'll still we'll still be all right. So well, that's besides the point. Right. <laughs> My wife's going to be excited when you put the video on and I make it. Excellent, excellent. What's your name? Ed. Ed. Blue I'm Jeff. Yeah, so I met you so, here. The last April. go around in April. Yes. Excellent. Well, thanks for coming back out today. I'll so. see you in Smithville. Too. All right, excellent. We'll be there. Yep. He's talking about our Smithville show, which is next Sunday. Uh, hopefully, by the time we get this video up. Hello there. How are you? So uh, really, really cool C6 ZR1 and a uh, C4 Collector's Edition. Really cool car. Um, you know, the Grand Sport sort of gets all the love from the 96 model year, but the Collector's Edition was a great car in and of itself. And this was available with the LT4, which is the same motor that was in the Grand Sport. This one is not. This is an automatic transmission. So this does not have the LT4 in it, but really, really nice car with the silver and you could also get this with the red interior, just like the Grand Sport. So if you see one of these collector's editions with the LT4 motor and the red interior, these actually pull a premium as well. So really nice looking C6 ZR1 done up in a custom vinyl wrap. I'm assuming it's a vinyl wrap. I don't know if it was painted, but a uh, big drag radials on the back of this thing ready to rock and roll. Beautiful car. And I believe we may have seen this one and this one up at Peddler's Village last weekend. Um, a couple of cars really uh, set up for the road course and drag racing with RPM. Yeah, I definitely saw this one last week at Peddler's. So, really cool car. White, red interior, spin around, black Grand Sport. 
How are you guys? Did you get my iDocs Bob Z06, that black Z06? The black Z06 over there? I'm, I just went past there, so I'll, I'll be sure to go back and go check it out again. Good stuff, man. Thanks for coming out. So another C6ZR1. This one done up in Torch Red over here. Let's we'll see if we can take a closer look at this one. So again, blacked out windows, blacked out halo over the top. So again, just gives it a different look in that regard. Black wheel, carbon fiber side skirt. Looks really, really nice. Uh, gray, I think this might be shark gray, if I'm not mistaken. It's got the Kalahari interior with a manual transmission and a Z06. Really nice car. Here's a beautiful Stingray. Uh, rubber bumper car. And this one has the notch back as far as the rear window goes. So you see the notch back here as opposed to the big bubble window. Um, so I give these guys credit with the C3s. I don't know how the heck they travel or put any luggage in these cars because the only luggage space is basically right there behind the seats. Not much luggage room in those C3s. Uh, you might get a little bit more if you uh, had that bubble window on the back, the bigger window. And this is Maddie's car. This is his C5. That's the C6 that we captured earlier. But this is his C5, and he is selling it. So if you're interested in this C5, check out Maddie's channel. You can get more information on the car itself. Really done nice uh, pewter. Nice spoiler on the back. Aftermarket wheel on it. Um, looks like he's had LEDs up front on the yep on the side marker lights so that's an upgrade um and then a bunch of the guys uh from carlisle that are out here as well and another c6 for sale 073 lt coupe um done up very nicely in the orange so that's pretty much a walk around the parking lot